During the question hour of day two of the Meghalaya Legislative Assembly session of 2022, MLA of Umroy constituency George B. Lingdo had inquired about the proposed solid waste management project at Kardem in Riboy district, wherein complaints had been received from residents of the area that the location for implementation of the particular project is not conducive to the environment as there are many streams and water bodies in and around the village that may be affected during the process. The Minister in Charge of Municipal Administration Departments, Nyabha Langdhar, had responded accordingly to the clarification sought by the MLA of Umroy. Honourable Speaker, sir, from the reply at 1E, uh, we can realise that there is no DPR enhancer. The government is trying to scout for land without any DPR. So no wonder, sir, the people, when they had approached the department, no one could explain as to what the department was trying to do with the land targeted for acquisition, sir. Now, sir, the documents that were circulated in public was of a sanitary landfill. So, now, sir, without any DPR and with the documents being circulated in the public being of, of a sanitary landfill to be set up in Kardam village and the adjoining areas of Maloai village, sir, where the actual acquisition would be, then should we assume, sir, that a land will be, that will be acquired will be for a sanitary landfill, sir? Mr. Speaker, sir, it is a fact that the honourable raise is a very valid point, but the final DPR is to be prepared when the area is finalised, especially when all the people area is okay. Only then we'll go for the final DPR. That's why the public hearing was held and highlighted an awareness from the department has been highlighted to the people of that area. So once, if everything is okay, only then we'll go for the final DPR. Sir. Now, this entire preparedness of the, of the department, in the process of preparing a DPR, a DPR, should look into the kind of terrain in which the proposed project is to be set up. Now, in the proposed area, sir, there are many springs, there are many water sources that feed all the adjoining villages, uh, villages on the right mountain condemn, sir. And now that we know, that the, even the DPR is also yet to be prepared, the land has not been surveyed in a proper manner, the kind of terrain is not yet to be understood, is yet to be understood by the department, sir. People are in chaos. People are in chaos. And uh, now, sir, people are up in arms, they have gone against this project because even the department does not even know what it is trying to set up. So, sir, may we know that uh, the, the mind of the Department, sir, with all this uh, opposition from the people, whether they will go ahead with the project or they will stop the intention, sir. Mr. Speaker, sir, actually for these projects, after having the public hearing on the 8th, yes, there is a few group who are opposed it. And days after days, there is uh, now the protest has gone up. So the final report has been away from the Deputy Commissioner of the Power District. But I would like to inform the House and the member. We from the government side, protecting the people of that area in particular is very, very important for the government. So therefore, any decision taken by the government, until and unless the people of that area is satisfied, we are not going to go against the views of the people of that area. And therefore, about setting of the projects, everything has to be followed as per guideline. And that is the reason why I have stated that when everything is okay and we'll be able to know where is the actual place. Yes, around approximately 200 acre plus minus. And if everything is in order, only then we'll be prepared the final plan. But to inform the House that we are very serious on this. So going against people, against the wills of bills, we are not going to do that. So until unless everybody is on board, we are not going to go against the project in this area. So therefore, after receiving the final report from Deputy Commissioner, and currently as of now, so the government is under examining the matter for this project. Sir, I thank the Honourable Minister, sir, for the reply. Going with the aspirations of the people as well as uh, taking the fears and concerns of the people into consideration, sir. But then, sir, in the public hearing that was held on the 8th of January 2022, 
the notice for public hearing was limited only to a select few and the chaos had come because most of the people did not even know about the public hearings. So it uh, tantamounts to chaos, it tantamounts to the fact that uh, people assume that the government does not want to take all the people on board before this project uh, is even thought of or is uh, the land is even acquired, sir. Therefore, sir, I would request the department, sir, before any kind of project is brought, at least proper public awareness is brought in. At least we legislators also should know, sir, what the district administration and the department plans to do in our own area. We were caught unaware as, a, as the local representative of the area. I was also not informed, sir. And suddenly when chaos comes, everybody turns to the MLA and seeks uh, their, their views and guidance. So, sir, such important projects, if they have to be set up in any part of the state, legislators should be brought on board. People should be informed properly. There be, should be proper public awareness. And then only, sir, people <laughs> will get the confidence. Get the confidence to people, then only such projects will be successful, sir. So therefore, sir, I would again uh, plead with the government, sir, to kindly ensure that legislators are brought on board. People effectively are they all brought on board, sir, before such projects are even thought of, sir. Thank you, sir. Mr. Speaker, sir. I would like to thank for the important suggestion by the member. Point is noted by me. Thank you. On the question put forward by Emily of Mendipatar Martan Sangma on the Jal Jeevan Mission project in the Garo Hills, the Minister in Charge of Public Health Engineering Department, Renikton L. Tonghar, stated that all projects under the JJM scheme have been carefully implemented as per the approved detailed project report submitted to the concerned department. Mr. Speaker, sir, JJM is very important scheme funded by the central government. Sir, there are lots of complaints regarding the implementation of this scheme. Regarding the connection given to the household, this household, they are not getting the water, though there was a connection to that particular house or household. Sir, there are so many schemes yet to be completed and the progress is very, very slow. So there are so many complaints coming to me and uh, when I visited some particular villages, it was found that the pipes are laid over ground, whether as per this uh, estimate and plan and estimate, these pipes are to be laid underground or overground. So may I know from the Honorable Minister in charge the plan and estimate of this uh, project, whether it should be underground or overground? That question is technical, sir. So I hope that the work that has been done according to the estimate, according to the P according to the DPR that has been prepared for different projects, different DPR. So different items of work has been carried out. Sure. As far as I got uh, information from the officials, it was supposed to be underground. Why I am raising this question, especially uh, for the pipelines, they are laid above the ground, leaving vulnerable to the tap because there are so many cases of tap occurred in the areas. So whether the minister in is aware of the fact that the estimates are for overground or underground. So uh, I need clarification, sir. Sir, as I said, Always the estimate, the DPR is different from one project to another. So it, it will be incorrect for me to say specifically for which project, for which water supply scheme that the Honorable Member is asking. And also it is uh, difficult even in that scheme to know at which location that it's required to bury the pipe inside the soil and in which location that it may not require for due for uh, many reasons that may not require to bury inside the, uh, to put inside the soil. So I will not have uh, the specific question on this, sir, until unless I have the detail with me, 
and I will request the uh, Honorable Bar, if possible, if he can bring this question uh, specifically for which project, for which water supply scheme, because we have got so many water supply schemes in the district. Sure. Uh, I want to give one more, uh, I want to ask more supplementary question regarding the allotment of the works. So there's cases, complaint coming from the public that single contractor, they were given lots of works, see sometimes six or seven projects at a time. So that's why they cannot complete the project on time. And as per the guidelines, it says that there is a monitoring um, monitoring committee which all the MLS of the district are members and while tendering for the particular project under GZM, these committees should be consulted but in North Carter Hills we are not con consulted. So may I know from the Honorable Minister what is the procedure for allotment of the work whether it is through tendering process or through executive, uh, executive office uh, engineer of the district. Yes, sir. Uh, tendering process is taken place, but for awarding of the work, especially for the JJM work, which is doing inside the village, VWSC, Village Water Sanitation Committee, which has been formed in each and every village, they have got the right to suggest the contractor and the department has considered according to the recommendation of the VWSC.